Hey plant gang, glad you're joining us today to learn about Budlia. Uh, now we're just talking about Budlia species. A lot of the ones that you'll find commercially in the market are hybrids. And so we're just going to say Budlia species. Uh, you know, maybe perhaps in the past we would say said Budlia David, David I, uh, but we're just going to talk about Budlias in general because we want you to recognize a Budlia when you see it. Uh, I'm actually standing in front of a new cultivar uh, that is in this series of butterfly bushes called Pugster. Uh, and they're quite small in the landscape and quite floriferous. They bloom quite well. And so uh, we want to know about this plant. Now, butterfly bush is a plant that does not appreciate uh, wet feet. It's got to have a, a dry situation. Uh, you can uh, ruin this plant or have this plant die if you put it in too wet conditions, in particular wet winters. It does not appreciate that. Uh, and so this is a plant that loves full sun. It's a plant that is uh, ubiquitous in the landscape. You see it quite a bit. Now for us in East Tennessee, we rarely see this plant seed itself. And one of the big criticisms of Budlia in general is that it, it is a non-native plant and it seeds itself around. Now for us in East Tennessee and most of Tennessee, uh, it doesn't really seed itself. And I, I don't believe in the last 15 or 20 years that I have ever seen more than one seedling of a butterfly bush. Now, now there may be others who say differently than that, but a butterfly bush for me does not seed around. Now, pair that with the fact that the newer cultivars that have come out onto the market have very low seed counts. In fact, there is a new series of butterfly bush uh, that they have said that it has less than nine seeds per inflorescence or flower. And so that's quite good. Uh, but butterfly bush is great because it gives you great bloom through a long season of the summer blooming, in some cases from May all the way until frost. The one that you're looking at right now could use a little bit of what we call deadheading. You could go in there and you could prune, prune the spent blooms off, the old blooms off, and make this plant look a little bit tidier, but you don't necessarily need to do that. Now, butterfly bush, depending on the cultivar, can get five to 15 foot tall and spread out just as wide. You wanna make sure you do not prune this plant back until after the fear of frost. And so, you know, well into May in a lot of cases is when you want to start to think about pruning this plant back if it is getting a little bit lanky or you want it to be a little bit more dense. Hardy from zones five through nine. This is a major invasive problem in countries like England, uh, but you want to, so you want to be really judicious uh, where you plant this and know the plant that you're planting. Here's a landscape tip. Valued for summer flowers makes a fine addition to the shrub or perennial border.